friends, welcome back to my holiday get ready with me. So originally I was going to do just a couple of videos. So one was going to be packed with me, my suitcases, and then one was going to be packed with me, my carry on, etc. But I thought, let's combine it all into one. So within this vlog, you are going to see what I'm packing to go in my suitcase, what's going to go into my carry on and all of the preparation. It is Friday the 7th of June. We are flying on Wednesday the 12th of June. I didn't realise how close it got so quickly. Tomorrow morning at 11, I'm getting my eyelashes done and my nails ready for holly bobs. And I am so excited to feel like a new person. My hair, I look like I'm going to tennis or something with this hairband, but I'm trying to leave my hair as long as possible. If you're much like me and you like getting your lashes and nails done, you know that they do advise sometimes not to get your nails and eyelashes wet. 24 hours after you have your appointment. I'm gonna have a all over shower this evening. I'm gonna wash my hair, put a hair mask in and just wallow in the bath instead of having to rush around tomorrow. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the easiest things I have, which are my shoes. I am missing one pair of shoes, which my mum is gonna look for this evening. So I'm not fully, I haven't fully brought all of my stuff to this house yet. Don't come for me. I'm getting there. Let me deal with it by myself. I still need my Balenciaga slides, which are somewhere lurking between the two homes. One thing about shoes that I'm realising I'm a bit anxious with is the fact that I am still in a splint with my ankle because I have still ruined it and it's still here. And here we are. So the first pair of shoes you have seen before, these are the ones I'm most anxious about purely because of my state of walking at the minute, which are my wedges I bought from Primark, Primark. I'm not playing this game with you every time I talk about Primark, Primark. I'm gonna call it Primani from now on. So my heels, my wedges more like, from Primani that I got not long ago, probably two weeks before I hurt myself. So I'm not overly convinced on these just yet. From me, I decided that I should have some flats just in case on the first couple of days I hurt myself or I'm not feeling too confident in them. So I picked up these sandals from Amazon actually. I, To be honest, it slipped my mind the other day and I thought, oh my God, I can't go walking around in wedges on holiday with a bad ankle. These were 20 pound, I'll put the link below. And I'm not gonna lie, these are some of the comfiest sandals I own. They've got a really soft sole, it's padded, they're comfortable and they're not high. These are the Sandal of Dreams and I wish I picked up the other two pairs as well. Next, um, as you've seen again with these shoes, I picked these up from Pramani and they're just plain black flip flops. These are already a pound. I'm not gonna lie, these are just easy to wear. And then finally, I've got my Pramani Birkenstocks as well. I'm also wearing some new trainers that I bought from Adidas. Let me go get them. So I picked these trainers up um, probably two weeks after I hurt myself because I knew that I wanted a bit more of secure shoes to be walking around in. So I just picked up these trainers from Adidas and I think they were on offer. So I got for £24. Very happy with these and they're nice and sturdy. Don't need to explain everything to you. Let's get on with it because this is already six minutes long. I went away for a bit. My best friend called me. Here we are. It's been about four or five minutes. I'm making my way through some caramel digestive. Next thing I am just going to show you is basically a little hint or tip for you, from me, from my mother. This is getting more and more regular that I see people packing for holiday. I am a very big believer and lover of packing cubes to go on holiday. So they're just these little parcels. Yes, they're not very folded properly, but I'll go through them now. Little parcels where it'll just make your suitcase so much tidier you'll feel like when you get there we're getting there quite not quite late we're probably we I think we're landing at half six half seven and then I think it's an hour drive to the hotel say argument's sake latest nine o'clock obviously with drop-offs and stuff we would preferably like to just use and abuse all of our time away so I find these are easy so you can pull these out one at a time and chuck all your clothes on hangers or however you like to holiday whether it's out of the suitcase or on hangers. The first day we're there is also Taylor's birthday 
so we will be a bit busy obviously that day we're gonna be celebrating him i'm gonna now talk to you about the clothes i'm taking away for evenings um i'm a bit of an overpacker i've got i think like 15 changes of evening outfits even though there's only 13 nights we're actually like there firstly i wore this last year when we went to Rhodes. i love it so it's this like midi dress i'm not getting up i can't be asked it's this cute little midi dress it's an actual dkny so I got this from TK Maxx. It's originally white and I dyed it this colour. And every time I wear it, I feel like Wendy from Peter Pan. And then a lot of the other stuff I'm actually taking is either Sheen, Sheen, I'm gonna call it Sheen. I'm not doing another Primark, Primark debacle. Sheen or TikTok shop. The first dress we have is from Sheen. It looks huge, but it, it's not is this green little floral dress then this is actually from asda and i think this is one of the cute, cutest dresses i own now it's asda i'm gonna run through these really quickly otherwise this whole video is gonna be far too long this is the dress i've worn the last few times gone on holiday and i feel like an absolute superstar in this you've got shorts and then this long train coming off it love and then i've also got white jeans to go with some tops that are in this bag which i'll show you in a minute so these are from tiktok shop it's this little top and it's got like a tie detail at the back and with that came this skirt it's a high high skirt up one side it's got a leg split up one side also got the same in trousers which i'll show you in a minute this dress as well i got this from sheen which i'm gonna wear with a little white so i really love this it's gorgeous blue Baby blue colour. Taylor bought me this skirt and t-shirt. Little bandeau style top with matching skirt. And then I got my Zara dress as well. With... So that's one bag. Let me fold that all up and we'll get to the next one. I am just going to say that I'm a massive stress head when it comes to holidays in the sense of are both of my, like, mine and Taylor's luggage going to show up? So this year, now that we live together and it doesn't matter, we are split in the suitcases. This is my second bag. Again, this is from TikTok shop. It might help if I put everything properly. So I've got this key shirt, which goes with these trousers and they are so cute. And we're like, may I say, they are like butter on your body. I got these in a green, so I'll show you that as well now. This is the green. I don't have to show you the top, but it's basically the same as um, the skirt I just showed you, just in the same kind of trouser material. Next, I have this dress from Sheen again. Cute little baby pink. These are the t-shirts I'm taking. So you, I think you've seen me on my Instagram with this t-shirt. And with this t-shirt, I think this is my profile picture on Instagram. I've also got this dress from, again, Sheen. So it's this cute little orange open-backed dress. I'm flying through this. I know you're not seeing things properly, but... And then I've also got two of these skirts which i think there's also a photo of me in these skirts on my instagram as well and i've also got um my zara vests to wear with them if you were going to listen to me with anything after covid women you may have felt the exact same as me where bras are just pain in the ass no need for them to be so uncomfortable so i picked up these zara vests and body suits that everyone was raving about at the time my washing machine is doing my head in. Raved about these vests, which I'll show you now. Let me close this. So it's these. This is the bodysuit, which I also have a vest version of. So I don't know how to explain this material, but it's stretchy. It's amazing. But it's it's got like a little cropped part on the inside, which I will admit, it's obviously not as supportive as a bra would be. But when it's hot and you don't want to be wearing a bra or you're wearing in the winter i wear these under like these kind of jumpers and stuff just to cover my back i sound like an old woman i know wonderful and they've got the support there for you so the cover-ups i have i'm not going to show you everything i got a bunch of shorts this is the green dress i showed you some more of the Zara vest, which I put there. Taylor bought me this Harlem Klein dress for Christmas. So I have that as well. The brown dress that you would have seen on my last video. The black trousers you would have seen on my last video. This red 
and white striped t-shirt dress. So this is from Sheen. And it looks massive, but at the same time, the last thing you want on holiday is something sticking to you. Then I've also got this little dress as well. Again, it's a little bit bigger just for the comfort behind it. I got this little set from Sheen as well. And it may not look like much, not that it's picking up the colour very well, but it's extremely comfortable. They've got loads of colours of this, as in loads. I think this was only like £4.99 for the set. If you want a link to anything, just let me know and I will try get that for you. So that's the cover up. So I've also got shorts, obviously, that will go with the um, Zara vests, etc. So I've got too many swimsuits for one on holiday. So I've split them up into two bags, again, to go in two different suitcases. Nothing exciting, just bikinis, except as I go along, if I post them on my Instagram or as I'm wearing them, maybe I'll tell you where they're from, but they're probably just either, actually, I think they're predominantly pre -marked. This here is mine and my mum's beach bag. It's huge. It comes in this little pocket. So I'll show you one the day. Massive beach bag. And then obviously it comes with this case that you can fold it up into which I find great if you want to put your suntan lotion and stuff in here to put inside that bag, just so everything's not cluttered about the place. I'm taking books on holiday with me and I'm taking a Kindle and the last thing I want is for my sun cream, etc., to run all over them. I've then got enough sun cream to last me a decade, but I've got in here two after suns, two SPF 50s, because I'm pale, um, SPF 30s, SPF 20s, and maybe a, a 15 in here. Don't know, can't say. And then I've got the Garnier, is it? Yeah, the Enhancing Oil, the Bronzing Enhancing Oil. This also has SPF 30 in it. Alongside that, other things I've got. So I've got a moisturiser for your face. So this is SPF 50. I've got this SPF 30 cooling spray, which goes if... For example, it's me. I'm going to have a hair and plait all along your scalp line. Spray this on your scalp line if you feel like it's going to get burnt or whatever if you're not wearing a hat. Finally, something me and my mum rave about is um, this thing called Zoosh. So it's a tan accelerator. It's got shea butter in it. So it's got a gorgeous smell. Highly recommend trying to get your hands on these. My mum got these from Ideal World. Then I have two different pyjama sets in here as well and then i've got in here is adapters toothbrush charger we still got our chargers and stuff to pack off so not go for a while i have got two presents for taylor to open when we're there other things going in the suitcase include a rubber ring that we got from Rhodes last year so we're taking a rubber ring a bag which you've seen we got this from bulgaria so that was 22 still going strong we also have the like lilo version of this as well bats and balls because we're five we're going for two weeks we need something to do in my toiletry bag we have where to start so i thought for taylor's birthday in the evening after we've gone for food and stuff i'm taking a couple of face masks so i thought it'd be nice for me and him to chill and maybe watch some Grey's anatomy <sighs> Just have some self-care night before obviously the rest of the two weeks holiday so i'm taking that then i'm taking where to start so i got toothpaste face wash and i'm also taking i find these so good they're just like cleaning pads instead of um flannels I find these really soft on my skin i much prefer these part and brush can't comb more like there's another comb there then i'm taking the fit me matte and poreless pressed powder and then this little Real Techniques sponge, which has got one side for powder, one side uh, for liquid. So I'm also taking my concealer alongside that. Other makeup bits I'm taking are um, an eyebrow brush. Not that I'm massively bothered about my eyebrows, but you know. Um, some things I found in Sainsbury's, so if you wanted to have a look at the Sainsbury's near you, you can have a little nose, is the Boutique things have been on offer. So instead of taking, I'm not really a makeup on hold type kind of girl, but I thought if these, not that they're too heavy, but so I think this was £1.25 and then this is the strobing powder. So it's got a little like, shimmer. I don't know whether you can see that. 
I think this was only a pound as well. It doesn't hurt. I don't like wearing makeup abroad. It does nothing for me. I feel like I've got too much crap on my skin. I burn. I'm not a very comfortable person with makeup on. I'm taking the Nivea Sun Protect SPF 50 lip balm. I took this last year. I had another one last year. I loved it. It was really useful. Deodorant for me and him. I've got some insect repellent because you never know. I got antiseptic cream last year when we went to Rhodes. If you've seen my Rhodes vlog, which I will link somewhere over here if you haven't. Um, we had a bit of an incident with the hotels where the hotel that we went to wasn't good. So I woke up the following morning. We got there quite late, so I couldn't act on getting a new hotel. You'll see the whole story. I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel clean in this hotel, so I slept in the clothes we flew in. Woke up in the morning and I'd been bitten by bed bugs. So I've learned my lesson and I'm taking bug bites because bug bite cream. So you just never know what could happen. What have I got in here? Got some hair bits in here. So I've got a little bow, bobby pins, which I need to take more of. A claw clip one. Some of these spiral bobbles. I love these. Another claw clip. There's another one in my carry-on. So I think that's everything going in the suitcases. Taylor still hasn't packed his. I'm taking clear elastics as well because I like putting my hair in um, plaits and stuff to get it off my face. That was a lot. I'm sorry. I just shouted at you for a solid 17, nearly 18 minutes. I'm going to put all this back into the suitcases. I don't think there's anything else going in the suitcase just yet, but if there is, obviously you'll see as we go. Um, and we're going to move on to carry on. Another thing I didn't say about was beach towels. It's a beach holiday. Finally, I'm getting my beach holiday. Um, I know I said we're going for two weeks and they have like a free towel service there. But sometimes there's nothing better than just having your own towels to distinguish between yours and others. I've also got towel clips because we are going to the Canary Islands, which are notoriously windy, which is fine by me because I don't do heat. Welcome to now what is my carry on. A couple of, again, key little things I've learnt over the years of Holly Bobbin is you have 10 kilograms of hand luggage use it use and abuse that luggage to the max so i take what is my work laptop bag it's got so much storage in it pray by this bag every time i go on holiday now it holds so much going from that go from what's going to be in the back first like i said use and abuse your storage just saying and i put my underwear in here so i got this from i think my mum bought it from amazon it's fab it's got my bras it's got my pants it's got my socks in it for if we go out it's brilliant you can push it down so i typically put it in the back pocket here as you can see there's another two pockets another pocket and another pocket just in the back alone so i cram this all the way down the bottom of my bag straight down there as you can see plenty of room left that's the first thing to go in there next thing i'm taking taylor's birthday card with me in my hand luggage because i feel like that's just easier there's no reason for it to go in the luggage and possibly get folded and stuff so that's going to go in there also going in the same pocket as the card is going to be my so i'm taking my chromebook we aren't very good on flights i'm not good with flying in the sense of my ears i'm scared of flying so i don't like planes as it is and also I'm a massive homebody, so I don't particularly like leaving my comfort zone, which is anywhere around my house or my family and places I just know. To fly, we did this for roads, worked a miracle, is um, I downloaded something like six episodes of Grey's, six episodes of Walking Dead and a film or two. Um, we only ended up watching Grey's. But the four and a half hour flight to Rhodes was so much more doable and easy to handle with the fact that you're distracted. So that's what I'm probably going to do again this year is download a bunch of films and stuff to just chill. We are also those people who prefer extra leg room <laughs> spaces as well. So we've got extra leg room on the plane. Taking my Chromebook and the charger. So I'm going to be taking my Beats headphones to actually be on Sun Lounge and listen to music and stuff. And then alongside the Chromebook, I'm taking a headphone splitter. I don't have the headphones just yet. Um, so we're able to watch them 
wherever we want to go there. So they're going in my beats case. Moving on to the last thing electronic that's going to be in my hand luggage alongside my phone, my phone charger, is going to be my Kindle. No words, it's a Kindle. So they, I'm going to put all them into a, I'm going to be putting all them into a laptop case anyway, so they're all safe and sound. Next, going off the Kindle, I'm taking books. So I'm taking the first two books from this, the chestnut something. I don't know what it's called, the chestnut something series of books. The first two, so it's Flawless and Heartless are the first two books I'm taking. Alongside that, when I'm on holiday, for some reason I grow into this like new me. So one of my favourite authors of all time is Vex King. So I'm taking his new book, which is Things That No One Taught Us About Love. I'm excited to read this on the beach and grow into a new version of me. Three books on my Kindle. All I'm gonna do is go grab my laptop case and put all of it together. <sighs> this is the laptop case I'm taking. So everything, my Chromebook's in there. Kindle is gonna need charge, but I'll put it in there anyway. The charger for the Chromebook. It'll also be my phone charger as well, but at least that's all together. So I can just pull these out of my bag instead of pulling out everything individually. So this it will go. Back here, so that goes in there nicely. And then the three books are gonna go in the front pocket. I'm gonna slide them down here. So these three books are gonna go down here. They've settled down there. Wouldn't surprise me if this is already 10 kilograms. On top of the books, I have this wonderful little thing. I think I said this in last year. Um, this is my passport, etc. holder. So in here, I've got the passports, the boarding pass, and all the currency we need for holiday. So that goes in there. It's so much easier to take a travel wallet with you rather than messing about. Then in there as well, I'm taking makeup wipes because there's nothing worse than feeling clammy on the plane. And then the tissues. So they'll go in there as well. Buy the travel wallet these um, imperial mates. Like I said, not good with flying. So that's going there. Other things going in here. So the beats need to find their way down there. Other things that go in here are my sunglasses. One thing I will suggest if you're a glasses girl like me is getting prescription sunnies. Changed my life. Other things that will go in here that I don't have at the moment is pull the charger find portable charger a dream for both traveling and when you're on holiday obviously the sun and the heat does ruin your battery and it drains it so quickly so i'm taking that as well other things i haven't told you about the suitcase is we don't have shampoo and conditioner and body wash yet that will be going in um when we pick some up just realizing i'm getting really anxious with that in um in the back of the bag so this is also a pocket in here so what I like to do is take some playing cards, I pop them in the back here, so if we get bored on the plane and when we get bored in the evenings, if the entertainment isn't great, they'll go in there. Other things are claw clips, so they are also going in there. Claw clips in the back. Bit torn. I got these two headbands, very early 2000s. These will probably go in the suitcase as well, I forgot about them. My hairbrush is going to go in the bag as well, but obviously I'm going to need it before I go. And then tripod, probably try fitting here. One thing I'm going to tell you, and one thing you're going to take from this is take a insulated water bottle away with you. Just listen to me. If you are the type of person who doesn't like room temperature or warm water, and you prefer ice water, but you're a bit like me when you're abroad, you don't really pick up your drink as much as you should, and then it gets warm. I took another bottle away with me last year and it was the same grace. I've got a Stanley cup as well, but it's not logical. Stanley cup, cups on holiday or traveling, it's not logical. It's a faff to carry, you could chuck this in your beach bag, you could chuck it in your carry-on, obviously it's not gonna have any water in it. Um, and it's just so much easier. Listen to me, if you are like me and you're a water girly or a squash or whatever you are and you just like it cold, 
and I don't like bugs going anywhere near my drink. It creeps me out. Love this. This was this is a Systema water bottle I got from Sainsbury's. It was 20 quid, but it's a 1.2 litre, I think. And I love it. It's a good water bottle, I promise. So that'll go in there as well. Last two things. I'm a bit undecided whether they're going in here. Are hats. I've got another hat I need to find as well. These are the two that I know I'm taking. So it's going to be one of them. It's going to be this Girl Amuse cap. I can't remember the word. But I'm going to be taking this because it's cute. I like it. And it's new. And I'm spent using and spending my money. This cute little sun hat. I got this from Promani as well. And this was only £5. It says on the label it's packable. I don't know how true that is, so I might need to stuff some things in the, the bottom here. I'm trying to think of other things I don't have yet, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll keep you updated. So the things I've got so far, we shall see how it goes. Like I said, this is getting awfully heavy. Jesus, it is heavy. We bought one of these the other day. It's a scale for your suitcase and stuff like that. And it's my same grace. Ended up upgrading our luggage from 20 to 25 kilograms each. And my stuff alone, not all my stuff alone, because there's other things in there, such as the Aftersun and stuff, comes to 25 kilograms across the two suitcases. So, fingers crossed, Taylor doesn't overpack. That is only um, 6.25 kilograms. So it's not too bad. It's not great. It's not bad. I don't think there's anything else i got to show you right now. That's what I'm packing my suitcase and my carry-on with. We shall see how it develops. I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video. Um, I will be just giving myself a little pamper night tonight. About hair masking, just wallow and enjoy myself a little bit. And then tomorrow morning we... So I'm going down to get my nails done and my eyelashes lifted and tinted like i've said about seven times in this video and then taylor's getting a haircut as well tomorrow for when we go so that's what i got we got planned tomorrow i'm just waiting for taylor stuff to go on a spin cycle so i can put it out to dry this evening i hope you're enjoying so far i will see you a bit later or tomorrow depending on how i feel hi hi so it is the following day i was supposed to take you to go to get my lashes and my nails done but it was my girl's birthday, so instead of focusing on the vlog, I focused on her. I got my lashes done. Not that there's a massive difference, but there is. And then I got my nails done. So they're just like, I didn't realise they were slightly sparkly. So it's a navy blue colour French tip. And then both my thumbnail and my pinky nail have a hibiscus flower on them as well. Because there was no way she was letting me out of that salon with just a coloured French tip. It's not her. She can't do it to me. I'm currently editing. Um, and I wanted to close out the video by saying, I'm sorry I didn't take you all away. It's getting very close, very fast. I wanted to just say thank you so much for watching this video. I'm excited to film my holiday. We shall see how long it is because I'm only on 22 minutes of this alone. And I know it's a bit long. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you probably in more three to four weeks, unfortunately. With my holiday vlog, which I'm really excited about. Please like, subscribe, share to all your pallies. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon.